Hi guys, Zed Carbon HD here, and uh, I'm bringing you another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to render images. Uh, there's three different ways: there's quick selection, quick mask, and eraser. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the quick selection. So you want to come up here and grab the tool there, and basically just drag it around the part of the image you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this for images with uh, like similar colors in them because this um, it chooses this like similar colors as to what your brush goes over. Um, so yeah, if you if the part of the picture you want is similar to the background, you might choose bits of the background as well. Um, this isn't really the best way. But it is just a nice, quick, and easy way. When you finish going around your image, press Ctrl and C, and then Ctrl and V, um, and then delete your original layer. And there you have it. Uh, the problem with this is that it feathers the edges. That I'll show you now. Uh, as you can see. It's quite rough around the edge. Um, it's a good way to use if you just want part of an image to use for some kind of small picture, like a YouTube icon, because you won't be able to see the feathered edge. Um, uh, the next way I'm going to show you is the quick mask. So what you want to do is grab your paintbrush. And then come down here and click on that. Then you just paint over your image, really. Um, over the part of the image you want. <clears throat> uh, and I shall be back when I have finished doing this. Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've gone around my whole image. Um, what you want to do when you finish going around it, you just press... Um, just go down here and press this button here, then you press delete, and then you have it. Um, I'd say quick mask is probably the best method. Uh, now the third method is eraser, just grab your eraser. And once again just delete everything around your image. Um, and I shall be back when I've finished erasing everything from here. Um, yeah, hi guys, I'm back, and I've finished doing the eraser as well. Um, after you've done any of these methods, what you want to do is make a black background, um, and just make sure you haven't missed anything, like, if I zoom in here, you can see I've missed, uh, whoops, I've missed quite a lot around the outside. This is just because the background was quite bright. And you can't see much on the the white and grey checkered um, transparent thing. Um, but most probably on a razor you will have quite a lot of this where you miss a bit. Um, and then quick mask as well. You want to do a black background to make sure you haven't got uh, anything on your image that you don't want. Like You can see kind of a white... Um, a white line around the back of his head, you might want to get rid of that or something. Uh, and the same for this, that just really shows up how feathered it is. Um, and then you want to change the background to white as well. Um, and that could show you other parts that you've missed, like maybe some darker bits. Um, I don't think I've missed anything on there. Yeah, um, thanks for watching guys, if this helped you, uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, thumbs up.